Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Hypertherm 45 sink. So in this video, we're going to go over, it's so we're going to review what this comes with. We're going to go over some packages that we offer, and then we're also going to cut with this unit and uh, go over our likes and dislikes on this uh, brand new machine that's coming out up to the market. So uh, the 45 sink, you guys might be re re familiar with the 45 XP. So the sink comes with these cartridges now. Um, and I know we've done other videos on the 6585, 105 that have the sink cartridges with them. Um, so what we found in the, on the market, it, it, we're getting very good feedback from these things. So now instead of having five consumables, you have one consumable. And the 45 is a very, very popular machine. Um, we, we sell quite a few of them. People love them. They work well. They last a long time. They got great ratings. So we got five eights rated for five eights. It'll, it'll cut max severance cut one inch and an eighth which is huge. I've cut one inch with them. It's awesome. They cut it it's slow, but it works. And then uh, obviously on mechanized or pierce cutting is half inch rated. So, um, but these new sink consumables, everybody that I've, we've sold these to, they were a little skeptical, but now they fell in love because they don't have to change out five consumables, have them in the wrong way and sort of thing. It just screws on and, and you're ready to rock and roll. So, I mean, it's pretty much, it's just plug and play. Uh, it's very simple to put it on there. Like I said, you don't have to fit up your consumables. You already have your swirl ring, your nozzle, your electrode. Everything's already in there. Um, so what's new to this sink system is you got the smart sink torch uh, with the lockout and amperage control here. So I can control my amperage with the torch. Um, now this unit will do 9 to 45 amps. Uh, but with this consumable in there, it'll go down to 20 amps, all the way up to 45 amps. And we can control it with one click of the button. And then it's got a lockout system, so you can lock it out, change the consumable, and go to the next consumable if you got to change out quick. So the operation is, is awesome. When you, you know, if you mess up a consumable or it goes bad, you can pop it, slam a new one in, you're right back to cutting. One thing I did notice on this unit, before we jump into how much, is the lead is very, um, it's very flexible. It's different from the 45 XP. Now, I don't know if they change anything. I have no insight on that, but it is definitely more flexible than the older one. Um, I don't know if it's a new material, but it is nice. Feels nice in the hand. Nice torch. I mean, basically the same style, but it's a smart sink torch. Um, there you go on the front end. Same connections that we had on the old 45 XP. Just push and play, and then you got your ground with a little twist lock connector there. Very simple. And then what we have. We have our amperage display here, and what we're doing here, we're displaying it. Oh, let me pop that cartridge down here real quick. So we're displaying an error code. Hang on, let me back, back up here. We we're just displaying an error code, but we have drag cut and gouge. So you can put gouging consumables. That, that's displaying your amperage. You got your wrench for service, your overheat button. It's saying that I don't have a cartridge on. We know that. You got air pressure, electricity, and then you got AC power coming in. So we can adjust that amperage with that knob down to 20, up to 45. Super simple, easy to see, nice display. On this thing, two people ask, what's this for? We got our little cable hanger so we can put our torch and our ground, hang them on there when we're, when we're in our shop, uh, anything like that. So this unit, one downside to it, and it's not that awful, but it is not 110. It's only 220. That's the only negative thing I've got to really say about it. Um, so you've got to have 220 power. Uh, there again, it's a 50% duty cycle. Um, and with the new sink consumables compared to the old 45 XP consumables, their hypertherm is stating that we can get on, in a 12 inch cut on half inch plate, mild steel, we can get 661 cuts with that consumable right there, which is pretty awesome on half inch plate. 12 inches long. Um, obviously that's going to be a variable, right? Because you not everybody's cutting 12 inch long sections or you know you might only make one inch cuts or two inch cuts. So you could get longer lifespan out of that sink consumable um, or the cartridge there. But compared to the old 45 XP consumables, you could only get about 550, 560, 570, somewhere in there out of that same setup. Pretty awesome. Um, I like the machine. It's very light, as you can see. Um, it's actually the same package as the old XP. It's just now the sink system with the sink torch. Um, and just so everyone knows, they are done making the 45 XP. So those consumables, they'll support them uh, for X amount of years, but they're going to sink. So if you're skeptical, I'm telling you, I've seen great things out of these things. Everyone that buys them 
they love them, they work, um, you know, they're, and they're roughly $55 to $57 a cartridge, so depending on which one you get. Which leads me into my next thing, what we recommend to buy. So this unit came with a ground torch machine, your owner's manual, and it comes with one dragon consumable, 45 amp dragon consumable, which is yellow, and they color code their consumables. But we are, we're offering two packages, and if you guys are, um, yeah, we'll link all that down below, but we recommend buying the package because you only get one consumable when you buy the machine. So in the first package, we got two drags, 45 amp, one fine cut, and then one gouging consumable. And that's our package, Baker's package there. Um, and we'll link that down below with all the pricing. So you get four consumables in that package. Awesome little kit, gives you a good starter. Part numbers are legible, so you, you can always reorder, you know, if you run out on that kit. And then also on another kit. So this unit has CPC, so it hooks to a cutting table. So if you have a cutting table and you also run a hand torch, these are the mechanized consumables. They're in gray, um, so you're getting four mechanized cutting consumables and then the ohmic rings that go with them. So the ohmic rings are for when you're putting it on there. Now, let's just check this out. That's a mechanized cut. So that ohmic ring goes on and what it does is just make, it makes contact with your torch head consumable. And then most cutting tables have a little wire that comes down on the torch, on the torch body and clicks on right there. And then what that's doing is, so when your torch sense, you're sensing the height, it'll automatically do it because it's using a voltage sensing lead that senses the height off that table. Pretty awesome, but that comes in the kit. Um, there's some fine cuts in there as well uh, with the mechanized. So one thing that we found, these, these sink consumables work with fine cut. It's, it's almost a whole other ball game when it comes to mechanized cutting because you put a fine cut consumable in there and it, your cut quality is superior on these sink consumables. Seen it, I mean, it, it, they're awesome. It is really awesome. Um, so we've been converting these guys with cutting tables right to fine cut. If they have sink, great, but if they don't, we, can, you, we put the old cartridges in them too with fine cut. Their cut quality goes through the roof. It's awesome. And now with the sink, it's so much easier to change it out when it goes bad. There's really no point why you wouldn't want to go to the sink. It, it's so simple. Now a couple other things that we recommend you buy as well. Um, it has a, we have a cartridge reader. So Hypertherm came out with this cartridge reader. And another beautiful thing about sync is on that reader, it's a little black reader. You download the app, there's instructions in the box. And what that reader does is you pop it in the back end of that cartridge. And I got a video out there, we'll link that too. But you pop it in the back, hold your phone next to it, and it tells you how many cuts that consumer did. Now it doesn't say is it bad or is it good, it just gives you life, run time, that sort of thing. Um, so good little trinket to have. Um, I mean, it's good to give you, a, if you're into the technology side of things, you want to know what, how many cuts that thing had on it, that's pretty awesome. It links to your phone, it'll tell you all the cut time and everything on it. So and then another thing that we recommend is a torch cover. Now this is by Hypertherm, it's a leather torch cover. Um, very, very nice and uh, they work really, really well. It's all Velcro, so you got to string it out, lay it out, and then Velcro around it. They, they improve the quality and the longevity of your torch lead. Now this does not protect against, obviously, sharp steel that drop from 10 feet, right? It's still going to sever the lead, but it is nice to have when you're dragging across the floor or the edges of tables or anything like that when you're fabbing up stuff. Um, great little addition to the kit or to the machine itself. And then another thing is an air filtration kit by Hypertherm. I would recommend this before anything because most people have uh, dirty air or moisture in their air and this thing will pull all the moisture out of the air and I know on the back side there's already an air separator. This is in, this is like a first and then second. So this one's going to strip most of the moisture and this second one's going to catch the rest. But I recommend this because I've seen so many torches come back for so many machines they say it's not cutting, it doesn't work and water's coming out of the torch. Well, now water's not supposed to come out of that torch. But somehow they got water from their air, ran through the line, and then they got water coming out. Uh, it destroys torches, moisture does, especially plasma torches, and it's, and it's hard on them. It's hard on the internals of the machine. So I recommend it. It's a, a, little, bit, a little bit cost added to it, but it's well worth it in the end. You're going to save your machine. You're going to save your torch. You're going to save consumable life. It, it's, it's definitely a need. 
Um, but either way, put that on there. We'll link all these, these three down below, and we'll put the kits down below too. Um, but let's get this thing hooked up. We're going to cut some half-inch aluminum, and I got some half-inch steel. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. All right, so I got the Hypertherm 45 sink set up here. I got it set on 45 amps. Uh, so the recommended air that this thing requires is 6.7 cubic feet per minute and 90 psi. So that we have sufficient air. Um, but just check your air compressor before you purchase this unit or buy another air compressor that will match what this thing needs. Some of them are rated at lower than that. Uh, we got a bigger one that isn't. But I got a piece of half inch aluminum. I got some quarter inch steel. We're going to give it a shot here and uh, let it rip. I'll, I'll try the steel first. I'll show you guys. I got a drag consumable in there. And we're at 45 amps. So you can see there, I was just I was cutting through some welds and some other stuff. I mean, real nice clean cut, nice drag lines. Um, awesome little unit. I mean, it, it rips through some stuff going pretty quick. Let's try this aluminum here. You can see half inch aluminum rip right through that. Pretty decent cut. Um, I had the tip pretty much on the plate though, cutting along there. So aluminum obviously is always a little bit harder to cut, but you can see there that thing cut right through it. No problems at all. All right, so I grabbed a gouging consumable uh, cartridge here. So it's uh, green, got it there. We're gonna change it out, I'll show you guys. Just lock out the torch, pull that drag consumable off. Pop the gouging consumable on, unlock the torch there, and you can see here the light went from drag to gouge, so it recognizes the single consumable. Just clear that code, know that it's in there, and now we're ready to gouge. So you saw how fast and easy that was, and it automatically tell it, it knows what cartridge is in there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Let's try this. I got a little T weld. We're just gonna gouge out the weld, just show you, show you kind of what this thing does. It worked pretty good. So. See there, just gouged out that little T-joint down to the base metal. Pretty sweet. Um, that was just a piece of scrap we had. That gouging consumable is handy to have though if you gotta do some repairs or wash out some welds. Or even if you got a crack or something in a bucket or on, on anything like that, uh, front cutting edge, I mean, that is really nice. You can gouge that crack out and re-weld everything. Um, awesome little kit. Now remember, that comes in our consumable package too, so we'll link all that down below. Awesome to have. Let's go back inside. We'll do a little overview and uh, likes and dislikes. So. All right, so after cutting with the Hypertherm Sync 45 here, um, I, I'm impressed. It, it does really, really well. We gouged with it. We cut with it. Um, I really like the Sync cartridges. Um, I'm a big fan of them. I was apprehensive at first because of the cost um, and just everything that you know you knew about Hypertherm Plasma System before Sync. You were like, well, how could they do that? How could they come out with just one? But it works, and it works well. Everything, every feedback we've ever gotten, it, it everyone loved them. They, they, they're loving them now. They're loving them to this day. So this is the new 45 sink. The old 45 is, is gonna, it's gone, and uh, they're coming right to the sink. But if you cut stuff thicker, check out the 65 and the 85, um, and then also 105, 125. But then you start getting into three-phase power um, on those units. But this thing does a nice job for, you know, half inch up to five eighths. Um, like I said, it'll sever inch and an eighth. Um, but one thing I didn't show you guys out there when I was cutting was on that torch. I, I went over it earlier, but it's giving me an air code because I don't have air hooked up. But I can control the amperage from the torch. So I can go down the 20 and then I can bump it back up all the way. So I can control the amperage right from the torch. So if I need Say I'm going 
quarter or, or I have half inch and I jump down 14 gauge, I can bump the amperage down and have a better, cleaner cut. Because right, if you cut with higher amperage on thinner gauges, you get a lot of dross or just a bad cut in general, um, too wide, that sort of thing. Um, another plus on this unit is all compared to other uh, plasma cutters on the market, uh, there is different options for the head. I love the gouging, the drag, fine cut's one of my favorite, but they have extended reach, flush cut. I mean, we're talking some awesome consumable packages you can get for this, and, and it gives you more versatility. They also make different torch angle heads on these too. Uh, so if you're doing a lot of gouging, uh, and you saw in that when I had the torch canted like that, they actually make a head that's semi-straight, and it's a lot easier to gouge with. All these options. Hypertherm is the, uh, the leading brand in, in the plasma industry. All their technology goes into plasma cutting and uh, made in USA, three year warranty. Awesome company, they back it up if something happens and uh, easy to deal with, uh, very reliable units. Seen a lot of them sold throughout the years and very, very reliable. Uh, not many come back for service. Uh, the only negative thing I got to say is that it's only, it's only 220. I wish it was 110, probably the technology is not there to put out that much amperage and cut half inch blade on 110, but still awesome unit. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.